This conference will now be recorded. Okay, the time being 7.01, we will um, bring the December 1st, 2021 uh, Tilton Budget Committee to order. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I always want to say amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get Kevin Duval here to go over his budget. Thank you for coming. Sure. Nothing's changed since. Not since you have the trustees. Oh, okay. We can just run quickly through it. Sure. Of course, we've been over with Tim a number of times already. But yeah. We'd like That's to get your, your perspective of how it's going. Well, I guess the. Um, I should probably just go through the uh, increases in, for next year. Um, the biggest increase would be in my training line because we're we're gonna. I'd like to invest in the guys that I have, um, and I'd like to bring two of my drivers from CDLB. Well, one, one driver from a CDLB up to an A, because right now we have to outsource our um hauling equipment moving so equipment moving um because we lost our class a driver this year so in, instead of hiring out a class a driver i'd rather invest in the, the crew that i have because they are a good crew sure and um i'm a firm believer in if i show loyalty to my crew they'll show loyalty in return and, and we have a good strong crew now and I'd, I'd like to keep it that way. There's always a, 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 a level of doubt or a level of uneasiness or uncertainty when you hire in somebody new whether he's going to be a good fit or not. The uh, Another increase is in the building repairs. Next year I'll be looking at repairing the garage doors, they, they were in need of some service or replacement. We are, we're experiencing some heat loss. Um, so I'd like to get that, that addressed next year. Also incorporating some ventilation in the building when it was built years ago, ventilation was not mm -hmm. installed. And we could really have that for the, the equipment that runs inside. Um, and right now what we're doing is we're opening doors and we're having a lot of heat loss in the winter. It's counterproductive. It's, it's money lost. Sure. We have to correct that. Um, the radios are, our radios are in good shape. So we're not looking at a purchase this year. I don't, I, I don't anticipate approach, uh, trying to buy radios for a couple of years because we did, uh, Upgrade a couple of radios in the, in the, the recently, and uh, they're in good shape. They are very expensive, um, so that was. Uh, I'm not anticipating a, a new radio for probably two or three years, and it, it might be longer. Uh, we'll just have to reassess it in the years to come. The building and grounds maintenance increased because. The cost of maintaining the septic tank has gone up. Um, it's just the, the, the sewage plant increases their rates. The um, septic company obviously has to increase their rates and, and it gets trickled to us. Um, so I increased that. The safety equipment increase is due to hiring a fifth crew member. 
and that's to incorporate the PPE and the just the personal protective equipment and the, the boots that we buy. The um, increase in the equipment repair is due to how we're looking at replacing a, a dump truck body next year because of excessive rust. It's on the 2006 Peterbilt, uh, which has not had any work done to the body in years of the salt exposure has just taken its toll. Um, I just spent a couple hundred dollars in, in, in uh, repaired some of the frame to get it through this year. Next year, we're looking at a replacement. The uh, doing away with the uniforms because the cost of uniforms is skyrocketed, mm -hmm. not to mention some um, unforeseen charges or, or uh, <laughs> some charges that, were, that, that we incurred losing a couple of my crew members this year that I was not aware of. Um, it was five or six hundred dollars that I wasn't anticipating because they they deemed the uniforms unrentable. <laughs> so they they passed that cost on to us, which I was not aware of when we first went on with the uniform company. You just buy them stuff now, like t-shirts and sweatshirts. <clears throat> yes, I would like to do that next year, and I allotted. This is the first year that I that I would like to try this, and I allotted six hundred dollars per person. Obviously, I'm not going to spend six hundred dollars per person. I'll get them five to six pairs of pants, some sweatshirts, and some t-shirts. See what the cost is, and then next year I'll adjust accordingly. I yeah. anticipate it by being cheaper than this. Than yeah, you did t-shirts and sweatshirts. Okay. For five of them, and it was like three hundred dollars. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll do it twice a year. Okay. That doesn't include pants. Pants is the cost. Yes. Um, so no, that's good. Good information. Thank you. I think that was all the changes. The uh, gas and diesel. I, I know that it's over budget now, and uh, I have to say, well, I have a couple of lines that are that are overspent a little bit in uh, this year. And I know that it's directly related to obviously the, the, the increase due to the COVID situation. But I also incurred some costs this year because of the theft at DPW. We had to invest some money in the, in the, the um, locking mechanisms for the doors. And the we actually changed our outside lighting from the old bulb with the LEDs um, to give the brighter you know lights for the for the midnight hours mm -hmm. and the, the police department actually thanked me for that because it actually made their job easier when they come in and patrol the, the property they can see more so that investment was around fifteen hundred dollars that I wasn't anticipating mm -hmm. spending this year although I, I knew that I needed to do it to, to increase our safety and the, the security of the building. I guess I wasn't aware of the theft, but yes. did somebody break in? Or? Somebody broke in and, and um, actually stole $5,000 worth of tools. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's an ongoing investigation. Did you guys file an insurance claim? Yes. Okay, any other questions? <laughs> No, it looks like so. Your staff now is. Do you feel it's kind of a peak staff? Are you? You have everybody you need. That seems to be one of the larger increases here. Basically, it is the largest wages. increase. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although I'm sure you're aware of the, the the money situation from last year's budget to this year's budget. Some of the money didn't carry over. Well, yeah. Wanna, so. <laughs> Tim might explain it better than me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, there was an error in the budget last year. Okay. So the the new employee wasn't wasn't budgeted all the way through. So it, it basically skewed the budget by that amount. But so you had an overage last year, year, which wasn't budgeted, and which is now right. so which now is you're, now budgeted. You're seeing the full yeah. the full effect of that. Okay. That's yeah. Right. Okay. And I I brought that up before. Yeah, we I think. The budget. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was my error. 
I need more notes. <laughs> with um, so now and we actually just hired the fifth crew member. Well, we're waiting for his background check to come back. As soon as that clears, we'll bring him on, and I'll have five crew members plus myself. And I'm pretty confident that that will be, will be a, a great crew for many years. So, great, great. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody have questions? I do. The ones that we're going, we're uh, investing in the CDL. Are they have they been there a while? Or are they new? Um, um, Peter has been here for. Uh, he was hired in August of 2018, and he currently has a CDL B, yeah. and he would like to increase to an A, which is a three thousand dollar. Um, school. Yeah. Um, Jed, who's been with me for um, I think six months now. Was, is it more? I think it might be longer than that too. A little more than that. Yeah, yeah it's all kind of meshed in my head. Sure. But the the, uh, the gentleman that wants to, to get a CDLA who doesn't currently have a CDL license He's been with me for about a year, but he's one of those guys that um, he's very aggressive. He's, he wants to learn. He's he likes working for the the department. He likes working in town. He's local. He has a young family. He's the type of person that I want to invest in. And um, I, I know that if we help him with his Class A license. That he'll re return the favor and stay for a long time. I, I don't think it would be a waste. Are we able to put something that if we do that, that they do stay with at least another year? Because there's a lot of openings out there. For yes, we can. <laughs> so that there is a. Um, when I approach the subject with the selectmen, I believe that we can draw up a contract that they give us two years. If they leave sooner, then it's the remainder of. Right, is, reimbursed. Is, is reimbursed. reimbursed. Exactly. Thank you. So there is some coverage there to cover our loss if it does happen. Is there money in the budget to give them a step or a raise once they have that license? Does that make them more valuable? Yes. I mean, do you have something in your budget yes, we, to compensate them once they get that license? Yes, this is in, this budget is anticipating the completion of their class their class A license and the pay increase. Yes, exactly. After on the one that you're replacing the dump body, mm -hmm. was, it, was that the one you said the frame was done too, or that was a different one? The frame. You said a, some a frame on a vehicle was done, not on that one, right? No, the dump body. Okay, but this is saying you're replacing. You want to replace the dump body? Has the rest of that Peterbilt been? looked at to make sure that it's not going to turn into more yes um, get springs and everything else in there, um, so. the springs were done a couple of years ago the rest of the cab and chassis are good shape actually the cab is aluminum so the oh. rest of the salt doesn't affect it yeah. and uh, we actually did a lot of work um, to the chassis uh, this year and springs were done a couple of years ago so as far as truck and chassis yeah. it's a solid truck and we'll get okay. another 15 years out of it Okay. So it'll be worth the new body. Yeah. So what year go, is it? 2006. So I have a 1986 so it will <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So uh, I um being the, the fleet mechanic for the town, um I have a lot of working knowledge with the trucks and cars and all that. But I inherently expect to get at least 30 years out of a big truck and 15 to 20 years out of a smaller truck with the maintenance maintenance um so when you take a look at my my vehicle plan my equipment plan it reflects that uh, i know i floored tim with those numbers <laughs> he's like what what are you yeah no i, I don't expect to get an, a, a new vehicle for a very long time didn't Catherine have something she wanted to ask about having high, the sidewalk highway plans? Uh, and, it's not online. Right? Highway plans or, or she, that was recently road updated. construction uh, plans? Do you have the, the road plan? plan? Do you have a plan? Yeah, it's, yeah, it was just recently updated and 
and I, and I shared it with Tim, and it is on Google Drive for everybody to, okay. to oh, see. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually emailed it out with the budget to you, so you have it. Yeah. Okay. That includes all the, um, the road work that I expect to do in the next 10 years and the, the vehicles. Okay, great. Actually, I think it goes to the vehicles, I think, will go all the way up to the year 2037, I believe. So it's it's a long term projection. Great. Nice. I think that's what didn't Catherine mention that? Mm -hmm. a little bit? Yeah. yeah, I think uh, maybe also the, the uh, just the overall status of the. The PD fleet. Um, that all that'll come she's up. Yeah. Chief advisor is here. Okay. Nobody gets more vehicles. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that that's been the case here in the last few years. Oh, so. good. No, yeah. no, it has not. Last year, we had <laughs> Kevin's seen 2018. A lot of those vehicles in the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> the last new vehicle we received from the PD was 2018. 2018. Oh, that's good. That's impressive. That's not <laughs> And yeah, we're still Thank going. Looks like you're doing a lot of investing and that's you know in the right areas. So that's yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so actually with those with the um the new lights installed, I'd like you know, I'm interested to see the um the savings on the electric bill because those those outside spotlights are on all night long. You know, and if it was the lights were on, you know installed 20 years ago when the building was built. There has to be a savings there going to LED. Oh, sure. I know I saw a savings when I went upgraded the inside lights to LED mm -hmm. by almost $100 a month. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And the big when I drove by the other night, it's like they like, oh, it's unbelievable. How mm -hmm. do the neighbors like that? <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> so I, I did get a, uh, yes, I did get a, um, a phone call about that and we had to adjust one. Yeah. Was it before or after the bus fare? Exactly. <laughs> yes. But I try to work with the neighbors, so we, yeah. everybody's okay. Do you have a camera system out there? No. We do. Okay. Yes. So. Yes, that? and it was utilized. Okay. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a very clever thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might have known the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So. And the PD is able to surveil those cameras from. The dispatch area, so mm -hmm. they're able to keep an eye on things. Okay, right. great. Yeah. Same yeah. as River Rock. Okay, any other questions? Thank you. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It was a nice night. to meet you. Yes, you too. Yeah. <laughs> Kim, did you want to say anything? Or? Uh, I was just going to say uh, uh, just a couple of things that uh, in the budget that was emailed to you and handed out to you tonight, uh, you'll see that there's a budget committee voted column now, and uh, that has the, the agencies uh, that you voted on to date. And uh, also these, um, these figures are updated as of today. Uh, the one thing that, that um, you'll be hearing about shortly, uh, the board is meeting tomorrow night and uh, they'll be deciding how to pay for the uh, the new trackless uh, snow machine that uh, the public works department's getting. So that's a $156,000 expenditure of which roughly uh, two thirds of that is gonna come from the highway equipment uh, capital reserve fund and the balance from the uh, operating budget. Is that the so, sidewalk one? That's correct, yeah. So uh, hopefully hopefully he'll have that. You'll, you already have it? Next week, yes. Next week. okay. Before the snow. <laughs> Sanitation, is that under public works too? It is. Okay. Yeah. Because we didn't talk about that, did we? Uh, well, I can, I... Uh, I mean, not that we have to, I just, I just want to yeah. make sure I wasn't missing something, but that comes under public works. So the, uh, the board has decided to extend the Pinard Agreement uh, through the end of 2022. And they'll, and I think I mentioned um, in one of the meetings that they're going to have a, a review at some point, maybe um, something done at a uh, town meeting or a warrant article, perhaps, something to kind of um, uh, survey the public to see what they want to do with the sanitation, because the costs are, are um, increasing rapidly and, and the options for disposal and that sort of thing are decreasing. We, have, we provide a very high level of service right now I with curbside collection. Yeah. Yeah. Of both plus Amnesty Week, uh, so we're really we've got the 
the Cadillac service and Cadillac cost, mm -hmm. if you will. Oh uh, yeah, I did use the word spoiled. <laughs> Learn from your neighbors, though, okay? Well, right, right. Well, what, so, what not to do. So anyway, it's it's really a matter of um, you know what what makes the most sense, and I there's uh, the, the number of you know proposals being kicked around from uh, changing how Amnesty Week works um, to um, you know looking at uh, the stream, you know that the recycling stream and uh, there's still glass in the recycling stream, which of course is the, the highest weight, and also the uh, the cons uh, the Concord consolidated um, waste agreement that we have for the Pentacook incinerator, um, that expires at the end of 22. It was a seven year agreement and we're part of that consortium. So that'll have to be renegotiated and um, we'll, there are some slightly increased costs that are in, uh, that have been in each year for those seven years for our disposal figures. So. So there's there's a lot of changes coming, but in any event, the uh, the board will be in a position to be able to go out to bid with plenty of time uh, to be able to implement something uh, for January 1st of 2023 uh, following town meeting. So Do our amnesty weeks cost us a lot of money? Uh, it, uh, yes, I mean in my view they do. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know the other towns there's the whole there are many ways of doing it, but uh, some towns uh, have a uh, uh, method where you can go any time of the year and you get so many um, coupons, you know, so no, many coupons no, if you no, will no, to go yeah, right. and and that if you need more you can buy more so that if someone is a heavy user um, of the transfer station during the year which it's open year round now um, you know they you know they'll be paying for their use in effect and um, and I think it's it it also keeps um, the payments in cash, you know, in, in town hall, uh, which is what most towns do. And, uh, you know, so that's that's one option. There are different different things to look at. But, you know, one of the things that you want to try to cut out is the abuses where you get, this, you know, somebody with six uh, trailer loads of asphalt shingles because uh, they just never got them off their property from the last six roofs that they did at their house. So, when you're you know. taking a survey for, um what the public wants, maybe it could be either if you want recycling or you want amnesty. Well, and and I'm not sure, uh, the board hasn't decided, you know, how to proceed forward with how they're gonna uh, get input or feedback uh, from the public. So um, it could be just as simple as a Warren article, um, you know, with different option, you know, different options for a Warren article, or, um, you know, it might be a budget discussion at town meeting. Uh, you need to make really sure you're not taking which. commercial waste. You know, commercial demo, commercial stuff. And and that's a residential facility. And right? that's that's one of the problems. Yeah. It's it's difficult to know. You know, there are a lot yeah, of contractors. Say, those, and, uh, those came off my house. Just right. Get a dumpster. Just get a dumpster. Right. Yeah. So um, so anyway, uh, uh, and you know the guys do a, a great job of you know uh, policing that. And and I got if you've been to uh, the Amnesty Week of late, the last few years have been incredibly well organized. Um, particularly this last year. I mean, it's just effortless, no lines when I went. And uh, you'd be you know, surprised so. who goes. I, I think the last time I went, some guy was driving his lawnmower pulling a little trailer with this. Oh, <laughs> 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 the pictures were like, this is, this is definitely redneck. <laughs> the only thing we noticed, and it's not a complaint, but the only thing we noticed was the line was all the way back to Dunkin' Donuts on this side. That was the, mean, per, the first COVID year. It was right, like and that then year. people came from Franklin and cut right in the line. Oh, yeah. Came, and well, all these people were like, ah, the horns were honking. And, well, they did have two lines. I but, know, but they yeah. didn't know that. So all these people were in this line coming from Tilton all the way back to Duncan's. Mm -hmm. And uh, this car came from Franklin and got right in the line. I don't and think. And they were all like, like, I thought we were going to have a fist fight. I didn't experience that this year. I, I, no, I, think it was I didn't last find year any, any lines at all. And uh, they now have two lines of travel within within the transfer station. Very, very well organized. And kudos to Kevin and the, the team there. And the little back exit's nice too. Right. Yeah. Has, has it been looked at about doing it ourselves? I mean, is that? Yes, yep. Uh, we, we, in fact, we uh, did a study back in 2016 and made a determination that it uh, wasn't the right time um, based on a number of factors. Uh, there, are, there are savings, uh, but there's also uh, the risk that, go, risk that goes along with that. And, and if anything, it seems as though the prevailing um, 
theory with other other towns and cities that have been doing their own they seem to be going to contractors and getting away from their own service and for a number of reasons some of which um, I think we've got a good handle on which is the repair of the of the trucks mm -hmm. so um, you know we're we're in very good shape there but um, but there are you know there are pros and cons but yeah the board has looked at it and I'm, I'm sure they'll look at it again um, but um, that would be like almost a whole different department within the public works, right? Because that would just take. However, however, uh, the director would put it together, yeah. right? But it would certainly require more resources than, right. than we have. Yeah. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but our our changes in price schedule for what we take in to has started to offset some of the costs as well. That's correct. Because, uh, uh, okay. no, because we brought we brought it up to we brought it up to basically the standards of what we've seen locally. Mm -hmm. because director duvall came to us and said that he wanted to do this and this was back i want to say june was it june mm -hmm. um to be able to bring up the disposal of some of those those pieces that we've been taking in basically for free yeah. to bring them up to the level that we were seeing in other municipalities around us and so um, um kevin did a great job sort of just weighing that out and sort of seeing where our price schedule should land and offset some of the costs mm -hmm. so yeah, you know, I noticed when you did that, and that was that was smart because you know you can't you know go and throw a TV or a couch at no cost. You, yeah. Most places you have to pay something. Yeah, well, was, unless, right, you unless you go amnesty week, one of the one of the two amnesty weeks. Yeah. And yeah. so, if you're like me, you you wait, pile wait, it up and, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and drive your lawn <laughs> drive my lawn <laughs> <laughs> over for it. That's people in arguments all the time. I know. They pay, they're going to throw it in the woods. Well, <laughs> then you prosecute them if you find them doing it. But you right. know. But that whole you need to pay what it costs to get into it. So it's a, it's a million and a quarter, right, to run the sanitation. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's it's a lot. Yeah. Now the it's the uh, commercial uh, the commercial um, haulers um, that's all paid for, and we actually make a little administrative. Uh, we have some administrative cover of that. So uh, there's. I think there's about three dollars and twenty-five cents per ton that um, that contributes to the administrative cost of administering the program. Do you make any revenue on like the cardboard? Uh, uh, well, uh, we. Um, no. I know, no, I know, no. no. Uh, I know the cardboard is. We really, had. It's, it's like the best it, recycling. It is right, right now, now. right? Yeah. So uh, metals. Um, what else? Metals been good. Um, yep. Yeah. And currently, we don't fail our own cardboard or paper products. Yeah. And it is kind of in my plan. Because um, you have a separate, separate dumpster for cardboard, right? We do. Yeah. That's correct. But it goes right into the commingle. Oh. They separate it. They source it. They separate it. For yep. So there are definitely some changes that we do. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I think um, um, I think everything else you'll see. These are the expenses that are in here are all as of uh, the end of November, and uh, um, you know there's still some um, residual expenses coming in for November, but uh, by and large, you know the month's done. And uh, um, and I've already discussed that uh, some of the police budget. Um, this is actually where we're going to take some of the money to offset the cost of uh, that trackless machine. So, or at least that's my recommendation to the board. But they'll decide tomorrow night how they want to do that. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Great, thank you. What are you guys doing for a cola this year? Four percent. Four percent. Well, at merit is what what we call it. So that's what it's budgeted in. So let's why don't we go to the minutes? November seventeenth.
Sorry, Catherine's question to get presented. It's in the minutes. So Catherine wanted to make sure that her questions were presented to the highway. No, I, only, highway I only plan. remember the okay. So highway the answers. I believe. Roads. Yeah, they they're available. Yeah, on the yeah, town that's website. That's all I remember. Yeah, it's in your email. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess I didn't see the email yet. Mm -hmm. On the last line on the second page says BL asked if they were all current on outside agencies and voting on appropriations. Does that mean we were all current or? Yeah. 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 I'll put we. Any other corrections or comments? Mm -hmm. um, will we accept the uh, November 17, 2021 meetings with corrections? I wasn't here, so I'll second. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? One abstention. All right. And uh, so, Lisa, you brought another. Is this from the Hartwell Concert Series? Yeah, well, so I have, yeah, I gave you the packet from the August. So that's his application. Um, if you wanted to meet with him, he said he could try to do it at the Zoom meeting. It just takes like a week. Is this the normal amount, 2000 Yeah. I think it is. So yeah, like yeah. Yeah. So what do we think? I don't have a problem with it. It's a standard request. Yeah, and it's a great. I love his. It's a great his, service. I love his answer why the numbers were down because we had so much rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a motion to um, fund uh, our one more concert series for the full amount of two thousand dollars. Second it. Uh, any other um, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Second like unanimous. Okay. So I think the only other thing we have to do is figure out who we're going to see next. Yep. Um, I also printed out a new copy of the everything that's been voted on for the members there. Great. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I have some replies back. Um, I know that uh, the chief said he, she could do the 12 8 date or 12 15 date to come in, so it's kind of too late to do that. Everybody else pretty much wants to do January, and I just need to give them some dates of when we can start. So 12 she's eight. gonna take the longest, so yeah. I think we'll another one. Ne next week. Yeah. Sure. Let's get her done. Yeah, yeah. Let's get her done. It's 12, 15, 12, 12, 8, and then 12, 12 15, I'll have another board meeting. Okay. So 12, 8. 12, 15. And what else we have? Um... So I have, uh, Jeannie would like to do January. Um, Joanna would like to do January. Didn't hear back from Dan, but. Did you guys all get the sewer commission budget? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. Great. Yeah. How far into January do we go? Well, I mean, we have to. We have dates available in December. We have to have a public hearing in February, right? Early February. So we can't go that far. I mean. Yeah, I think that's right. We should try to get more people in December. Yeah, we normally you try to. We get those. The rest of them done in one week. Okay. Who is it for the last for the one meeting? Jeannie wants Jeannie, to. You could Ron. you could push her off to. January, I think early January, I think that'd be great. But and yeah, that's the center of the too. Correct. Yeah. We, so maybe if we did them all at the same meeting, can we just ask them? Johanna to do 12 15? I mean, that's still two weeks away. I don't know, it's up to you guys. I'm just like, yeah, we need to, I think we need to build this right. kind of time. Right, you're not going to make the 15. <laughs> I won't right. make the 15. I'd rather miss the sewer one right. than miss you. Sure, I want to be here for Jeannie. So, so we have um, sewer, we have health and <laughs> services, right? Is that welfare? Yeah, welfare, health and welfare, whatever it is. Health. When do they want to come? When does Heather want to come in? Who is that? Is that She's the... Uh, did you say Heather? Yeah. Heather. I didn't have her. I didn't even have her. Okay. Can I she, she, uh, <clears throat> yeah, she can uh, probably she can do it via uh, go to meeting, which is what she did for the board. Okay. Uh, and her presentation was uh, 15 to 20 minutes, I would say, uh, including questions. Okay. <clears throat> There's not a lot of change um, in her budget. Could she go on the 8th, too? If she's going to do it by Zoom or by go to? She's the general assistant. Uh, health welfare. Yeah. What you call health welfare? What's well, that's, your that's on this She's not page. page. <coughs> Catherine is her health officer. Oh, okay, so health and welfare is two different ones. Really, that's correct. Yeah. I was going to say because she does work. Yeah, they sometimes call it something different. They make it sound more general assistance. General assistance. Uh, People don't like to use it. Overseer of uh, public. Yeah. Um, name sometimes use. So Jeannie is administration, <laughs> town clerk, tax collector. Do we normally even meet with them? We have. I it, think it's we, a budget. She's a I mean, town, that's supposed to be a town elected official. And mm -hmm. It would only be the brass, but well, it's, it's, a it's, 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 it's a department. It's a department. Town clerk. Tax when Cindy used, department. Cindy's used, well, yeah. to, used to come. So uh, I had I had offered to do that since the budget was developed with Cindy and myself, and um, the the main components in that budget, and I can go over it again in very few minutes, but. The main components of that budget are the salary lines for the town clerk, tax collector, and the deputy, both of which were set by the Board of Selectmen um, because it's an interim position until the election. So, um, so the only other the only other change really that is um, weighing on this budget is the fact that we have three elections in 22 versus one in 21, uh, and that that's reflected three. In 22? Mm -hmm. I thought we only had two. No, there's uh, the town and the primary. Town, primary, and general. General November. election. Because you've got the, because you've got the, you'll have the primary and then we have general election for midterm elections. In November. November. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, so that's, that's reflected of, reflective of that. And I, I um, had offered, uh, you know the the interim uh, certainly capable of speaking to you about the budget, but um, but she didn't develop it, um, and uh, uh, and there's really very little other than those main components I just discussed, really the salary lines and the uh, the election information. Does the office supplies go with the election? That one uh, up? There are there are additional supply costs. Yeah. And government reimbursements. Is that? Yeah. So, is that abatements or something? So, no, no, no. Our abatements uh, aren't aren't in the operating budget. Um, 
So the government reimbursements, that's like the uh, dog licenses and um, vital records, things of that sort, uh, that, that we have offsetting revenues for. And deed research really, um, yeah, and I mean, there were years where we spent six, seven, eight thousand dollars in deed research, and it really is all dependent upon uh, how the payments go, what the lien list looks like, what the deed list, looks, right. you know. So, it uh, I wouldn't cut it uh, any lower than it is. Uh, we we're fortunate enough to have one of our lowest. Um, lean uh liens last year uh, under a hundred thousand dollars and uh, that's been in the entire time i've been here here and at one point it was upwards of two hundred fifty thousand. wow so and not a lot of tax taking or anything like that that's correct yeah so we have genie doing administration tim you're doing tctc finance long-term debt it i think i just did <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can okay. check, them, check the TCTC out. We just did that. Okay. Yeah. Um, land use. Um, so you didn't get back to me. Okay. So. I don't know that they've ever come in since I've been here. Have they? Uh, generally, either um, a genie or I would would do that. I think in the past I've generally done it. Um, sure. So. Okay, we'll put you in. I'm sure, we'll put she genie and Tim on on deck. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then Corey for police. We've seen Kevin. And so then Heather and Catherine for the health welfare. So if Jeannie wants to do January early, and probably you and her at the same time, Tim? Uh, I can do it anytime. Yeah. I'm going to be here at each one of your meetings. So sure. I'm happy okay. to. All right. These other ones well, out. Okay. When well, if we have time, we'll do that. Yeah, every um, time we have time, we can just add another one for Tim to do. So police, <laughs> police will be twelve eight. Yeah. And uh, Easy on health, we could do on the next week. Twelve fifteen. Well, she can remote in. Yeah, have her do the twelve eight if you can. Oh, you think so? Yeah, yeah do her first. I just she'll be, she'll you don't like think this. the police. No, I mean the the welfare won't take. If it's, yeah, if it's her, like it was for the board, the it will yeah. be, it's 15 minutes and, how and long have will, a few questions. How long will Catherine's help take? 15 minutes? Uh, I think she had actually already done it uh, at your last meeting uh, because she was, you asked about who was uh, doing health and welfare and she said, well, what do you want to know? I'm the health officer. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and basically the only thing that she has in the budget here is just aside from the salary line for uh, for health is a small uh, expenditure line which which we had taken down and that's used for water tests um, if she needs a new thermometer or any sort of equipment or um, uh, protective uh, gear or anything like that um, but she sends the water tests down or other tests to the state lab and uh, that generates a, a cost for each time uh, things are tested but uh, she's got to be able to do that in order to uh, prove there's an issue uh, say with a uh, property that miscellaneous? Or, yes that's in her miscellaneous um, you find it. what is salary senior executive committee so that is the um Senior center. Senior That's the senior center. Oh, the senior center. So, okay, I'm yeah. like, what the heck is a senior executive? <laughs> but that, that's, uh, that's their name, and uh, those are the stipends for the, okay. for the five uh, people. Okay. Okay, so next week we're police and health and welfare. That shouldn't take long. Okay. So then police we, might we still it. have. Sewer, we have Parks Commission. At 12.15. Do we do the remainder of Tim's on 12.15 too? The other pieces that you can, if he's gonna yeah. be here, why not? Yeah. What's that? If we do, if on 12.15 with whatever other pieces we have, should we just have Tim do the rest of his? Sure. So yeah, yeah. Do, we can just. And it's, it's gonna be very similar to what I did on the 10th because a uh, little has changed since then and I was, I gave more than a high level at that time, but I, but 
uh, yeah, that, I'm going to be here at each or one of your meetings. So, um, so Sewer and I'm Tim flexible. on 1215. Yeah, and Parks Commission, have we talked to Bob? Oh, yeah. Uh, Bob has uh, presented a budget. Okay. And I have the detail of the budget. Um, so, I guess. I mean, I'm on the Parks Commission, but it, I don't think I've looked at it lately. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So are you doing that one, the parks? Or? I I, uh, I think Bob would be best to do it. But, sure. Uh, for someone from one of the commissioners, but I mean, I could probably um, step down and do it if I could ask him. Right now, we're just all concentrating on. I mean, this, I know the all the components of it. You know, what they spend the money on, but. Um, so we want that for the fifteenth too. Sure. Okay, so twelve fifteen. It'll be Tim, Tim Sewer, Tim, and Tim, Parks. Tim, Tim, Tim. We'll put Tim before Sewer. Sewer. Tim, 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 Tim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it the Tim Show. The Tim show. <laughs> I like that. It'll be the intermission between <laughs> Sewer and Parks. <laughs> Are there any yeah, other? Uh, I, I can. Uh, and that's for the 15th? Yeah. And what's the date in January that Jeannie would be doing hers? She. Said any time in January, I didn't have any dates to give her yet. So, so it'd be one of the first. Like the first one, yeah. Unless it's too close to the first. But. Well, we my my next meeting after that will be the 29th. We are meeting on the 29th. So what we, I just want to make sure I'm here for that because that's a big budget. I want to see it. Mm. I'm not trying to be a pain, but no. <clears throat> How about 12:5? I mean one five. One five. Oh, yeah. Sorry, one yeah five. Better to do the one five. Yeah. I can do that one. That'd be wider. Okay. One five twenty two. And then any filing Tim. What's that? And then any right. filing Tim. <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim. <laughs> And then when do we have to have the notice out, Tim? Uh, well, the um, I th I, I'd have to look at the calendar again, but I think I, I have. What you, does that entail for this committee for the public hearing? Do people actually come out and ask us questions? Yep, they do. Some of the similar ones that come to the town meeting, but mm -hmm. <laughs> they always come. And is that on a Wednesday as well, or is that a different day? Wednesday. Yeah, usually Wednesday. This term, uh, uh, does that have to do with that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, so it looks like the February 11th is the uh, last day to hold your first public hearing. And if, if something comes of that, um, Let's see. No, um, hang on a second. I'm trying to see when my meetings are. So that should be okay because we the last person on January 5th. I uh, know that actually would be your last public hearing. So you'd, you'd have to have, if you were going to hold another public hearing, you'd have to hold it before then. And it uh, requires um, a seven day notice uh, for public hearings. And the last day is the 11th? Yeah, I think it's, I believe it's the 11th. So we'd have to have it on what? The third or something? Uh, earlier in February, and then provide at least seven days notice. Um, so there would be notices for the paper and on the website, that sort of thing. So can I send you when my meetings are? And we can try to make it not on one of my meetings? Yeah, uh, Lisa, if you send it to okay. Lisa. Um, I'll do it tomorrow when I get to work. Yeah. I'm trying to do it on here, but I'm not. I'm going to send you the, the meeting dates. I'm not available okay. in February. Okay. I mean, if it falls on one, I'm not here. That I mean, if you can go ahead, but I kind of like people. I like to be here for the public hearing. Yes, I can. Oh, definitely. I'd like you here. Yeah. And so there's also Lakes Region Planning, Lockmere Village District, and Birchill Kennel issues. Those are uh, something that will happen in January. Yeah, those uh, the selectmen will fill um, fill those. Okay. And, uh, that'll be part of. Uh, Either genius or my presentation. Okay, great. On the fifth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So twelve eight will be AD and Heather from Welfare. Twelve fifteen is the sewer. 
That's, that looks good so far. Yeah. Great. Any other discussion? Is there a motion to adjourn? <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 What's the non favor? Can we make it last longer? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. There'll be a ruckus in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I texted all of them, but I didn't hear back from any of them. So. <laughs>